Good evening, good evening. What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day. Let me get situated. All right, we in there. Turn this on surround sound. All right, so I'm gonna start this video out like this. What's the most valuable thing we have in this world that we all have that can never be destroyed or replaced? Now, while you ponder on that for a second, I'm gonna continue a little bit. We all have it, we all use it, we all share it. Some people abuse it, some people drag it out, some people lose it, some people get it snatched from them, that's right. So anyways, let me go back to the original question. What's the most valuable thing we have in this world that can never be replaced nor destroyed? Never, no matter what. Well, I guess it could be destroyed. So what's the most valuable thing in this world never be replaced for sure all right so the time so the answer is time time is the most valuable thing we have as individuals real shit see the okay put it like this time is priceless and the reason why time is priceless because it's the most valuable thing that we actually have so it's really important how you use your time what you do with your time see look like this life is way too short so be very weary who you give your time to. Cause see, the time you give to somebody, you can never ever get back. Once it's gone, it's a wrap. So be careful who and where you use your time. Cause once that time is given out, you can never ever go back and relive that moment. It's gone for good. Now that being said is this, excuse me, I had a stretch. There's two types of time in this world. We got useful time and we got useless time. Now useful time is learning, obtaining knowledge, building, growth, constructing yourself in that aspect. Useless time is a total opposite. It's a complete waste of time. It's a complete waste of energy. And the biggest useless time that can be used with your time. And a lot of people ain't gonna like this. And I used to be this person until I understood the concept of it, and now I've kind of vanished from it. And that's watching television. Do you know, this is statistics, what I'm about to say, factual statistics. The average person from a baby to 65 years old will have spent a total of 15 years of watching TV in their life. Yeah, it's a real time waster, right? Now peep game on this. <clears throat> Here's another thing people ain't gonna like. A lot of people don't know this. But anyways, before I say it, I'm gonna say this. Certain parts of my psychology is the essence of time and how time is an illusion. So I'm gonna speak on that for one second. I'm gonna get right back to what we're talking about. All right, so anyways, time is really an illusion. Time is not real. Let me tell you something. Time was created by man and put in perspective. Before man made time, all there was was the present moment. That was it. Once it was put in the mind with time, now it's a whole different thing with that past, present, and future. Well, reality is the only thing that's real is the present moment. See, we're all prisoners of the present moment. And we're just transitioning from the past and moving to the future. Listen to that one more time. We're all prisoners of the present moment. We're all anchored in the present moment. And we're just transitioning from the past and moving to the future. Now, that being said is this, the present moment is the only thing that's real. Everything else is all in the head. I'm gonna tell you why. See, you get what they say is past, present, and future. Well, future is not real because it hasn't happened yet. It's only something you think of. So it's not natural, it's not real. Do you get what I'm saying? The past has already happened. You cannot go back and relive it. You can only think about it, so it's not real. So the only thing that's real is the present moment. That's the only thing that counts. All life is one big, huge moment. One big moment. Until man created time. See, before man created time, all there was was a present moment. That was it. Just one big life moment. And that's the only thing that counts. Now, back to what I was saying. 
is this. Uh, so I'm gonna say this, now that we're off that shit. Now I'm gonna say something's gonna blow your mind. It's really gonna blow your mind. A lot of people don't know this, and I didn't know this for a while, until like I said, I learned the essence of time, a form of psychology, and how time is illusion. And it brought, brought it to perspective for me. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna say this. Does anybody know what the average lifespan is? Don't think about it too long. Throw it out there with your thoughts, whatever you think it is, and then I'm gonna coach you the rest of the way if you don't know. So the average lifespan is 20 to 24 years. Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna say this. There's three types of time. Now, when I say time, I mean level two time. Level one is time like in life, uh, the present moment time that we had, the time that we shared. That's level one time. Now level two time, there's actually three types of time. And that's breaking down like your level, your age, your experience that you go through life. Basically your age. So level three, I'm sorry, uh, three types of time. One, do you know, back to what I was saying, do you know what the average lifespan is? It's 20 to 24, no I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's uh, 60 to 65 years, it's the average lifespan. You could live more, you could live less, but the average is 60 to 65. Now, when you break that down in days, how many days you think it is? Now, when I tell you this, it's gonna blow your mind. Get a calculator, add it up, it's all correct. All right, so level two with it. The average lifespan, when you break it down in days, is 20 to 24,000 days. It's crazy, bro, right? Super. See, when you put it in perspective like that, it allows you to understand how valuable life is, how short life is, and how life is priceless. So like I said, the average lifespan in years is 60 to 65 years. Seems like a long time, right? But when you break it down in days, level two, it's 20 to 24,000 days. Now I'm really gonna blow your mind with this one. Now, we'll go level three with it. I'm 35 years old, I've already lived over 12,000 days. Now, if I'm lucky and I'm average, I got about another 10 to 12,000 days, and that's it, that's a wrap. Now see, when you go level three with it, you understand how valuable your time is, how short time is, life is so short, so short. So let me say it one more time and I'm gonna quit. Three stages of time with your age. Years, the average is 60 to 65 years. Seems long as hell when you do it that way. Level two, days, is 20 to 24,000 days. And then level three, like I broke my concept down with me through measurements, I've already lived over 12,000 days. If I'm lucky and I'm average, I got about another 10 to 12,000 days. And it's a wrap. It's over, it's over. Now, I'm gonna leave it on this note. We are just prisoners of the present moment because that's the only thing that's real. We're just transitioning from the past and moving to the future. Now I want to make this video because I want everybody to understand the concept of time, how short it is, the history of time, the essence of time, the elements that make it what it is, and how everybody shares it, and how it's so priceless. Enjoy your time while you can. God bless you. Amen.